you came up with this word, cyberspace, at a moment when it was possible, and I'd like you to bring us back to that moment. I, I came to that out of a perceived need to find an arena in which I could set science fiction stories. The science fiction arena of my childhood was space travel, and the vehicle was the rocket ship. That wasn't resonant for me. I wanted that, that sense of another realm, a sense of agency, went through my daily life looking for bits and pieces of reality that could be cobbled into the arena I needed. The sight of kids playing very early, huge plywood-sided arcade games, the body language of just like intense longing and concentration. It felt to me like they wanted to like go right through the glass at the back of the machine. They wanted to be inside there with the pong or whatever. <laughs> I, I knew people who were starting to buy these incredibly primitive little computers that you built it and then you had to keystroke all of the programs into it, and if you made a single mistake, the whole thing wouldn't work. I started hearing about people who connected home computers distantly via telephones, and because, fortunately, I knew absolutely nothing about computers, I was able to sort of moosh that all together. <laughs> and get this vague vision of, of my arena, which I then needed a really hot name for. And uh, you played with a few. Yeah, and data space wouldn't work, and info space wouldn't work, but cyberspace. Mm. Whoa. It sound, well, <laughs> it sounded like it meant something, or it might mean something, but... <clears throat> As I stared at it in red Sharpie on a yellow legal pad, my whole delight was that I knew it meant absolutely nothing. <laughs> and that I would, so that I would then be able to specify the rules for the arena.